Na mkwingine kwa mtazamaji ni kuwa Kenya imenakili visa 99 vipya vya maambukizi ya ugonjwa COVID-19 baada ya sampuli 1458 kupimwa katika muda wa saa 24 zilizopita. Kiwango cha maambukizi ya leo ni asilimia mbili nukta moja. Wizara ya Afya imesema wagonjwa wawili zaidi wameaga dunia kutokana na corona humo nchini. Kati ya visa hivyo 99 vya maambukizi, kaunti ya Nairobi menakili visa 57, Mombasa, Kilifi na Kiambu visa 6 kila moja. Kaunti ya Embu menakili visa 4, Bungoma na Machakos visa vitatu kila moja. Aidha, idadi ya wagonjwa waliopona imeongezeka hadi 1830757 baada ya wagonjwa 66 zaidi kupona. Hata hivyo idadi ya vifo kutokana na COVID-19 imeongezeka hadi vifo 1153 baada ya wagonjwa wengine wawili kuaga dunia. Wagonjwa 476 wamelazwa hospitalini ambapo 28 wamo kwenye vyumba vya wagonjwa mahututi na watano katika vyumba vya matibabu ya ziada. Wakati huo huo kundi la wahariri humu nchini linakadiria upya hali ya taalumu ya wanahabari na vyombo vya habari ambavyo vinakumbwa na changamoto kwenye kaunti kutokana na msamba wa COVID-19. Kundi hilo la wahariri linazuru kaunti mbalimbali kuna kili maoni na mapendekezo kutoka kwa wanahabari walio mashinani ili kubuni sera ya taaluma hiyo baada ya janga la COVID-19. And the journalism is at a crossroads as we speak. Uh, so the practitioners and the media industry and government and all stakeholders need to get together to reflect on their future and what they need to do in order for the industry to survive. I mean the media is a significant central uh, player in a country's governance, democracy and life. And we must do everything possible to make sure that our media does not die. When we are still, especially shortly after lockdown, a lot of things changed to adapt the new normal because the practice of journalism must be left to go, must be let to grow, must also be sustained. This Nancy Okwari, Darubini at Channel 1.